All right, what's up, guys? We are back with Tokyo Ghoul Chapter 71, Two People. Um, let's just jump into it, because last chapter ended off with Toka, like, in, in Tatter's last chapter. Um, Ayato seemingly, like, being more powerful than she is, but... I don't know, man. Let's, get, let's, just, let's just get into it. Um, strange children? Yes, children who may possibly be ghouls. Um, always dressed shabbily or don't appear to be attending school. Can't speak well for their age. Or, I'm sorry, what? Are very, very picky eaters. Children that are particularly boorish. Seen any like that? What is this? What are you asking? Oh, okay, so I thought, I thought this was the neighbor telling Mato that, hey, there's two kids here, you know? Um... This is a residential neighborhood. There's a school not too far away. Are, and all kids are strange in one way or another. They may be children, but if they are ghouls, it wouldn't be too hard for them to rip the limbs off three grown men and leisurely satisfy their appetites. If you remember anything, please contact us here, if it isn't already too late. You don't think you scared him a little too much? Scare him. Judging from the contents of his bag, the kids are probably seven or eight, right? Oh, so that's where Toka and Ayato are staying with, with that guy. Okay. Um, they probably can't use the, uh, their Kagane yet. I would think three men should be able to ha handle them. That was a warning. An important duty as an investigator. As far as Kagane, it depends on the individual. We don't want anybody harboring the kids if they're familiar children. It won't be strange to develop an attachment to them. How did you get to be a senior investigator? I'm an assistant special investigator now. All the more reason, Shinohara. Anyway, we have a higher uh, priority case. Let's leave the corpse collector's children to the branch investigators. All right. Toka, what if dad doesn't ever come home? He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh, they, they don't know. Um, remember that time with mom? He promised he wouldn't leave us. He'd never leave us behind, so let's wait. But if the ghouls slaying cops found dad, why would you say that? <laughs> Toka, Ayato, Mrs. Sato. Oh, good, you're here. Look at you two, so haggard. I didn't see you two in a while, so I got worried. Did something happen? You can tell me. Dad's Ayato. It's okay, Toka. I know. Here, help yourself to this. You must be hungry. Aren't you going to eat it? No need to be shy. Eat it. Mrs. Sato? What the hell's going on? Mrs. Sato, stop. Ayato. You don't want to? You don't, huh? I knew it. You two. We really are. You two are ghouls. Go. <sighs> this is this is breaking my heart, man. Um, I can't believe that pretty boy was trying to eat us. No, Dad wasn't. You monsters! You're coming with us. Okay, we got him. Stop! Help! We'll take you to uh your father. Wait, was that Toka who just did that to the investigator who killed him? Kagane, they didn't tell us that. To Toka, what? Chun does. Oh, the little bird! No, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but hopefully, yeah, they let the bird go because I can't. I don't want this bird to get any more involved than it's already been. Um. Please, be quiet. Are you alright? Ayato, we gotta go. Oh, they're looking for us. Toka, your shoulders. I don't know. It throbs a little, but... What are we gonna do, Toka? We gotta go as far away from here as possible. Hey, Toka, what about Dad? He's fine. He's a klutz, but he's tough. 
He said he should live like uh, that we should live like people, but this wouldn't have happened if we didn't. My leg hurts. I'll piggyback you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm the older sister. I have to protect them. I have to protect Ayato. Are you two the Kirishima siblings? I was just looking for somebody fitting for a fellow cannibal. You two are Moderato. Uh, Mata what? What's up with this guy? Okay, interesting to see that Ayato and Toka were together for like... It, it's, it seems like their, their split up didn't happen until recently, right? Um, and this is Kirishima, right? Or uh, Tsukiyama. Let's kill him, sis. The old man Yoshimura is going to give you an earful. Oh, okay, so they both were with um, Anteku. Interesting. I heard you two fought uh, to a draw against Tsukuyama. That was reckless. Shut up. You'll reach the end of your rope if you keep fighting your own kind or intrude on others' feeding grounds. You don't think Ayato has been particularly out of control? So I have a suggestion. Um, what would you think about attending school, Toka? Huh? School? Why would I? I? I can't. I'm not smart enough. I'll teach you until you reach the appropriate academic level. I think it would be helpful for both you and Ayato. What do you think? What's the catch? How about you one day be the poster girl for the cafe? <laughs> um, <laughs> penny pincher. School. Old man Yoshimura said he'd pay for it. Uh, don't. Sounds fishy. You won't believe what Yoriko did at school. Save it. I don't care about what humans do. They just pr uh, pray after all. What? You jealous? Huh? I wonder... Okay, so what I think is, is starting to happen is that... Ayato is kind of like he's seeing Toka kind of engage herself more and more into like the human side of the world, just like their dad did, right? Your dad obviously had good reason to do that. Um, but Toka is definitely like, right? She's working at Anteku and now she's going to school. So now it's like Ayato is kind of like on the outside looking in and he's seeing his sister kind of more associate herself within the world of the people who killed you know their father the world of the people who drove them out of their home and chased them down and wanted to kill them the world of the people that includes people like mrs sato um like he's seeing all these things and maybe that's where that bitterness kind of stemmed from um that divide between him and and toka um okay <laughs> I don't give a damn about them. We're ghouls, after all. <sighs> you glad you can forget you're a monster when you're pretending to be buddy-buddy with humans. Why are you saying that? I just thought we'd fit in better if we know more about their world. Did you learn anything from what happened to Dad? Humans will turn on us once they find out what we are. You're gonna screw up one of these days, too. I can't stay with somebody with no sense of danger anymore. I have to wait. I heard this from Itori, but ever since a young ghoul showed up, the feeding grounds in the 14th Ward have been a mess. It might be your younger brother. Um, where are you and what are you doing? Damage the Kakoho. And the Kagane can't come out. Dad. All you gotta do is lie there and watch. See ya. Ayato. Toka. I don't want to be alone. Who? Who is this? 
in in like this whole bottom section like who who is it who's speaking because first it goes mom dad and obviously it shows a picture of Toka and Ayato's parents and then I can't tell if this is like if this is like that that doctor or whatever who was uh, like experimenting on on um on Hiyori, uh, you know, Jason, when he, when he w went through all the, the torture, is that, like, is that supposed to be the doctor, um, is that motto, um, and after it shows him, it goes to a kid that looks like young Ayato, and then it says, Ayato, dot, 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 see ya, and then the kid is looking up, and the kid says, Toka, I don't want to be alone. I don't I don't know who's I don't know who's talking in this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um but I'm going to assume that I the I don't want to be alone is Toka talking. Anyway, stay down. Wait, is Kaneki about to show up? Kaneki, what? Oh my god! <laughs> because okay, because I saw I saw the feet obviously, and um, initially when I first saw it, I was just like, I don't know why. I just I just assumed that it was it was Ayato's feet like approaching Toka as she was down on the ground, um. But then, but then, I don't know. I had I had, you know, kind of like doubts. I was like, wait, what? If, what if that's actually Kaneki, um. Dude, you won't be. Oh my god, he's responding to what Toka said too of her not wanting to be alone. What a beautiful shot, man. Of the two of them together. Look at how different he looks too. <laughs> god, he, he looks like a real shonen protagonist there. <laughs> um God dude. And like what's even more cool is that this is their this is their reunion. And for their reunion to happen like this. You know, this time Kaneki being the one to save Toka is so cool, dude. It's so cool. Um, but not only that, like it's it's not only on top of her not seeing you know Kaneki, um, ever since Algiri took him, but now she has to deal with kind of like a, like a double whammy of like first you know the reunion and then the other kind of major thing that's hitting her is just how different, you know. Kaneki is like your Kaneki you know what I mean so like, yeah it really is just like a like a whiplash of just like all these different things happening and at, at once um yeah man I, I I don't know man um that's so cool I, I, it's so just the way it happened was was awesome um but yeah like comment and subscribe for more Tokyo Ghoul guys and I'll see you guys in the next chapter peace